So for this assignment, you're going to be uploading the progress that you've made on your self-portrait this week. And you've been working on this for a few days. The final self-portrait is not due until next Friday, but because I can't actually see you in class, we are doing this assignment so I can just check in about how things are going. So for, for this first one, you're going to be exporting a JPEG um, of whatever you have so far for your portrait and then just drag it into this box. If you are working on Photo P, you're going to go to File, Export as JPEG, click Save, and then from there you will drag it in. And if you are on your Chromebook, you just got to open up your Downloads folder and find that exported JPEG there. Okay, and your self-portrait should not be this rabbit, it should be an edited picture of you. So. Usually when we are in the classroom, we would also be spending two weeks working on this self-portrait. And for the first few days, like most people haven't gone super far, but the first few days are, are for like experimentation, figuring out what works and what doesn't. So I want to know how your progress has been going, what's been going well, what has been challenging, what can I help you with. If you are having problems with a program or with following a tutorial, please let me know and I'm happy to look at it and help you figure that out. What else do you need to do for your self-portrait before the deadline next Friday? Um, what will your action plan be for next week? And for the second section, you're going to be looking over the self-portrait rubric here. So take some time to like actually read over every line of this. A reminder that you got to be including stuff from your roadmap. Um, you have to be including stuff from your artist research. You want the composition to and background to look really nice. All of this is about the section is about technology. So your self portrait should be made up of a whole bunch of different layers, not just adding one filter and saying that you're done. It should be cropped, it should be retouched if it needs to be. If you're using the brush or the pen tool and like painting on it, the portrait should look like you. It should be really detailed with highlights and shadows. Every photo should somehow be manipulated. So we're not just using like random unedited photos. We're not like stealing other people's Photoshop work. And again, the, the extra credit. So if you are following something, some other tutorial, if you're learning stuff beyond what we went over in class. If it uses like another technique besides the tools that we've learned, then you will get extra credit on your self-portrait. So for this section, you want to go over that rubric in detail and then think about some feedback that you could give to the artists below. So in this portrait, um, this person did a pretty good job with using the pen tool. Their jacket looks really detailed with those shadows but the composition could use some improvement. What are What is some feedback that you could give to this artist? And for the second question, same thing. What is some feedback that you could give to this artist? This last one was done by Junior Anthony Flores. He's in my AP art class and he is a fantastic artist. And he got a 4.33 on his self-portrait. So what are some things that you notice about that, that makes this self-portrait look really strong and excellent. Okay, that's all that I have to say. This assignment is due Friday at midnight, and please send me an email if you have any questions about anything. Good luck. Bye.